Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A question was put forward about a woman who had passed away and she left behind a husband, eight siblings from the father's side, four other siblings from the mother and father's side, these four being two for sisters and two for brothers, as well as a daughter. The mirath or the amount of wealth which she had left behind was 5,000 pounds as well as gold which was estimated at a thousand pounds and they would like to know how this is to be divided amongst them. Briefly before responding we note that the price of this gold should be determined accurately so it is not just an estimate so that each person gets his full right from this inheritance. But based upon what is mentioned, then the response is be Azza wa Jal that the husband he will take a quarter of this wealth, being one thousand five hundred pounds. And this is due to the presence of Al Far al Warith, due to the presence of a daughter and a child in this scenario. And the proof for this is a statement of Allah Azza wa Jal in Surah An Nisa when Allah Azza wa Jal mentions فَإِن كَانَ لَهُنَّ وَلَدٌ فَلَكُمُ الرَّبُعُ مِمَّا تَرَكْنَا And if they, meaning the women, they have a child, then you have a rubu, you have a quarter of what they have left behind from inheritance. And this is ayah number 12. As for the daughter, then she will take a half of this wealth, which is 3,000 pounds. And this is due to the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal in Surah An-Nisa as well, ayah number 11. وَإِن كَانَتْ وَاحِدَةً فَلَهَا النِّصْفِ And if she is one daughter, then she will have half of the wealth. There still remains a portion of 1,500. And there still remains 12 other people whose portion is yet to be clarified. The eight siblings who were solely from the father's side, then they will be prevented from this inheritance entirely. Due to the presence of the four brothers and sisters who are present in this scenario. The people of knowledge have mentioned if there are four brothers and sisters present, then the brothers and sisters who are only from the father's side, they will be prevented from the earth, from the inheritance. Ibn Mundir, rahimahullah, he mentions in Al-Ijma, page number 94, 95, وَأَجْمَعَ أَهْلُ الْعِلْمِ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ الْإِخْوَةَ the people of knowledge have a consensus that the brothers and sisters who are from the father's side, they will not inherit. Along with the brothers and sisters from the mother and father's side, meaning the four brothers and sisters, anything. They will not inherit anything alongside them. And this is the point that we wanted to quote. Hence the siblings who are from the father's side, they will be prevented from the earth, from the inheritance in this scenario. There remains the four other siblings who are from the mother and father's side. The four brothers and sisters. The wealth which has been left behind a quarter, which is 1,500, then this portion of wealth, it's going to be divided between them. As Allah has mentioned in Surah Nisa, لِلذَّكَرِ مِثْلُ حَدِّ الْأُنْثَيَيْنِ Ayah number 176 from Surah Nisa, Allah he mentions, وَإِن كَانُوا إِخْوَةً رِجَالًا وَنِسَاءً فَلِلذَّكَرِ مِثْلُ حَدِّ الْأُنْثَيَيْنِ and if they are siblings, males and females, then for the male is a share equivalent to two females. So that 1,500 which is left behind will be divided between those four. For the male is a share equivalent to two females. So that 1,500 will be divided between the two brothers at 500 each. And the females, they will take 250 each. And with this, the 6,000, which was mentioned in the question, is divided between them upon the Qur'an and the Sunnah. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to benefit by what we have mentioned. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.